I can't believe I'm in St. Petersburg. This is one of my dreams and I'm very excited because it's so beautiful. Um, it's pretty much one of the most beautiful cities I've ever been to. My dream was always to bring a Motorsport World Cup to Russia and especially to this place, to St. Petersburg, because I, for me it's uh, the most nice city in the world and uh, I'm very uh, proud that Jetsub is here. St. Petersburg, Russia was at site of the second round of the Motor Surf World Cup 2017. Riders and spectators couldn't hope for a better spot to ride. The city center of the magnificent Russian metropolis brought the racing course straight to the world's famous Peter and Paul Fortress. Anticipation of the world's fastest jet surfers to rule this arena was culminating. Prague Jet Surf Club is uh, the biggest and oldest team in all of jet surf. We, we put uh, ourselves together to have uh, some kind of common team uh, to train together and race together. I actually didn't think I was going to be racing this year, um, but when the USA team called me to be a part of them, I was super excited and it was like a huge opportunity that I couldn't pass. And I'm super happy I'm here. I'm uh, racing for the first year for Jet Surf Factory team and it's really opportunity for me because I have the best teammates, Martin Schula and Jacob Gorfail. The men's qualifying victory went to Peter Voxvenskovsky. He posted an incredible lap time and scored his premier pole position. Many riders targeted the podium with the finals coming up. It was Lukas Zahorski who eventually managed to steal the victory from Sebastian Kubinets in their breathtaking head-to-head -head battle. And Peter Voxvenskovsky made it to the podium for Jet Surf Squad USA in the third. For me, it was one of the best races I've ever done for my uh, career, so I love that. I enjoyed the weather, I enjoyed all conditions, the water, the person who were here. It was amazing. I love that. Thanks, San Petersburg. Girls were doing an amazing job in such a difficult course. The true hero of the weekend was Martina Bravencova. The Symbio Plus Jet Surf team rider was disqualified from the qualification round and had a difficult position for the heats and race. It was my mistake, but I hope that I can win a race. She handled the situation amazingly and went through the field for the overall victory. Aneta Shakaropa finished second, and Jet Surf USA's Ale Rivas completed the top three. I'm so excited about my work because I didn't expect it at all. I'm so... Happy. And the action goes on. The championship will continue in the United Kingdom on July 7th through the 9th.